Harry and Meghan will not seek any official royal role for their first child because they want it to have a relatively normal life. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will not seek a royal title for their first child in the hope that he or she can lead a relatively normal life, a source has told the Sunday Times. As the royal couple begin their official overseas tour, the source close to the royal couple said the word normal is an important consideration for the soon-to-be parents. Earlier this week the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who married in May, announced they were expecting the arrival of their first baby next year. The couple, who have just embarked on their official 16-day autumn tour in Australia, will have their baby in spring of next year and have no plans for the new member of the royal family to have a royal role. That word normal looms very large for Harry and Meghan when it comes to their child's future, a source told the Sunday Times. It is understood the couple are considering following in the footsteps of Princess Anne who famously turned down the offer to give her children royal roles in a break from tradition. Both Tsar Tyndall, formerly Zara Phillips, and Peter Phillips do not carry a royal title, unlike their cousins Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice. It is understood that the move will enable the couple to protect their baby from the pressures that come with being a part of the royal family and also allow them to shield their child from public scrutiny. While Harry and Meghan will postpone their visit to America next year, it is understood Meghan, 37, will continue with her program of official engagements until the birth of her baby. The baby will be the Queen's eighth great-grandchild and seventh in line to the throne. Yesterday the Prince was seen rehearsing his speech at the Sydney Opera House in front of a supportive Meghan in preparation for the opening ceremony of the Invictus Games on day one of the couple's tour. They were also seen attending the Anzac Memorial Service in Hyde Park to pay tribute to Australia's war dead. The couple are visiting cities in Australia, Fiji, Tonga and New Zealand during their official 16-day autumn tour.